Assisi is a land of saints and warriors, an identity which seems particularly appropriate for the Order of the Friars Minor, which was founded by St. Francis and known today as the Franciscans. Francis was a man who devoted his life to purity, humility, forgiveness, and love for all of God's creatures. Santa Maria degli Angeli, the Basilica of St. Mary of the Angels, incorporates the Chapel della Porziuncola, the little chapel where St. Francis established himself with his monks in the year 1211. Nearby is St. Francis's hermitage, Eremo delle Carceri. The Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi is the mother church of the Friars Minor, the Franciscans. Both the upper and lower churches are decorated with frescoes. However, the most important are the series of 28 frescoes attributed to the young Giotto, which reconstruct the main events in the life of St. Francis. Cimabue, Simone Martini and Lorenzetti also pay tribute to this great saint. Loreto is the location of the Basilica della Santa Casa, the Holy House. On its interior is the original House of Nazareth, in which records say Mary had been brought up, received the Annunciation and lived during the childhood of Jesus. Threatened with destruction by the Turks, it said that angels carried it to safety. Dominated by the Gran Sasso Massif, outwardly, Lanciano is a traditional provincial town of the Abruzzo region. However, in the eyes of the church, it is especially blessed because for over 1,300 years, it has been the location of an officially acknowledged Eucharistic miracle. Around the year 700, while celebrating Mass, a doubting monk saw the bread change into living flesh and the wine become blood which coagulated. Over the centuries, testing has been carried out to confirm the miraculous event and world authorities confirm that the existing flesh is heart tissue and the blood is type AB. Today, San Giovanni Rotondo is a prosperous centre the first place of call for most is the convent of the minor Capuchin Friars, where in 1916, Padre Pio became a member of the community. Many pilgrims come to the convent to ask for special blessings. Some ask to visit his humble cell. Nearby is the spectacular, new, futuristic-style church of Padre Pio, designed by the famous Genoese architect Renzo Piano. It's one of the largest churches in Italy and worldwide. The unusual semicircular crypt, finished in golden tones and with large modern ceramic murals presenting lessons from the Gospels, is the last resting place for this popular saint. Throughout each day, there is a continuous stream of pilgrims who pass his tomb to ask for a blessing or a petition. The establishing here of one of Italy's premier hospitals is another living tribute to the great Padre Pio. One of Europe's most important and earliest pilgrim sites is the Santuario di San Michele, St. Michael's Sanctuary, at Monte Sant'Angelo. The devotion to the Archangel began here in the 5th or 6th century when it said that the Archangel appeared to the Bishop Situanto and consecrated the grottoes under the church as a place of refuge and prayer. In the year 999, the Holy Roman Emperor Otto III made a pilgrimage to the sanctuary to pray that prophecies about the end of the world in the year 1000 would not be fulfilled. His prayers were answered and the fame of the sanctuary grew. The devotion to the sanctuary of the Archangel still continues to increase with the passing years. The Abbey of Monte Cassino is of special significance as it is the site of the first Benedictine monastery established by St. Benedict in the year 
529. Here, he wrote the Benedictine rule that became the founding principle for Western monasticism. The Abbey's prominent site has always made it an object of strategic importance and it has been sacked and destroyed a number of times through the centuries. Most recently it was the site of the Battle of Monte Cassino in 1944. It has been rebuilt in its original glory with international funds. Bella Roma is famous for its history and its many monuments which include the Forum, the Colosseum, the Arch of Constantine and some of the greatest basilicas in the history of the church. Located near the Colosseum, the Basilica San Pietro in Vincoli, St. Peter in Chains was built in 432 AD explicitly to house the chains that, according to legend, bound St. Peter when he was imprisoned in Jerusalem and can be viewed and venerated from close by without formality. Originally intended as a funeral monument for Pope Julius II, one of Michelangelo's most celebrated sculptures, the Moses, dominates the interior of the basilica, which also houses other art treasures, including frescoes by Giacomo Coppi. One of Rome's four major basilicas, Santa Maria Maggiore, was one of the first churches built to honor the Virgin Mary, a tribute which is evident in its elaborate mosaics and abundant murals. The Via Appia Antica is the ancient Roman roads which we can take to visit several of the many catacombs where the early Christians lived and celebrated Mass in the times of persecution by the Romans. On to San Paolo Fuori le Mure, where St. Paul is reputed to be buried, and the location of an unusual gallery of over 200 papal portraits. The Vatican Museum is one of the greatest museums in the world and contains some of the most renowned classic, sculpture and important masterpieces of Renaissance art in the world. Adjacent is the Sistine Chapel, famous for its architecture and its frescoes, particularly the story of the Last Judgment on the ceiling, which is believed to be the work of Michelangelo. The Basilica of St. Peter is probably the largest church in Christendom. Its vast interior is lavishly decorated with marble, reliefs and architectural sculpture the work of the finest artistic talent of the Renaissance and Baroque periods. Michelangelo's sculptor, the Pietà, is without question considered to be the greatest. An important stop is at San Giovanni in Laterano, the Cathedral of Rome, where it's claimed are the heads of St. Peter and Paul and a piece of the table on which the Last Supper took place. Adjacent is La Scala Santa, the Holy Steps, a flight of 28 steps which it's claimed Jesus ascended in the house of Pilate. Via della Conciliazione serves as a somewhat formal route to Piazza San Pietro, designed by Bernini as a gracious forecourt to St. Peter's Basilica. Pietro Carusod was a young man born in the Visayas, in Cebu in the 17th century. He went as a mission assistant, catechist, sacristan to Guam, as part of the first Jesuit mission expedition, where he was martyred by the natives. Each year, and on special occasions, the Holy Father performs the solemn act of canonization, the elevation of selected, already beatified persons to the level of sainthood. The date of the 21st of October 2012 has been set down for the canonization of Blessed Pedro Calungsot to become the second Filipino saint. <laughs>